I have something to talk about today also. And uh, it's, uh, I must uh, talk, a recording and talking when it's coming up in my mind because I forget very quick things. And uh, that's because of, of um, when I was a child and I, I was in so much abuse that I needed for to not go mental sick. I, I had to train me to forget things very fast. Uh, to could survive and uh, some of you maybe understand what I'm talking about that uh, there um, I uh, you know that I have I uh, am educated in psychology and uh, it's a uh, uh, if uh, uh, as a child I could have uh, done an, another way that uh, make me mentally sick, I could uh, many uh, that have problems uh, as adult, they have been abused as child and they uh, make another person take the pain, the abuse for them. And it's a, a mag imaginary uh, some something uh, some uh, person they have make up is a fantasy but they it's not a fantasy for them because it's like a, a twin but that other twin have to take the abuse so that uh, make uh, many get this uh, it's a uh, multi personalities they learn when they are, are younger to to uh, give uh, abuse what they see to a uh, and a shadow figure, a fantasy person, and that's not they. And then uh, it start to take over this other personality that there is not the not the person, but it, it be like they are that person sometimes, and. Uh, I, I do, um, I mixed up a little because I have, uh, I have a podcast in Swedish also, and I don't think I have talking about this with multi personalities, uh, in my English podcast, but uh, on my way in the United States. As homeless, and I was in too many homes and met many people, and there was some people that was really, really evil devil. But in the same time, then suddenly they could be very, very nice people, helping, loving, and then suddenly they change to be very evil I was almost killed of them and uh, that's this uh, it's uh, I, I uh, met a girl that she w was study at the university in uh, Duke University in North Carolina and uh, 
she saw how I struggle with with where I lived and I had to rent a, a room and and this a woman that I rent a room from she had this multi personalities and uh, that girl uh, that, uh, she she wanted to help me so she took me to the university in Duke University in, in North Carolina and uh, she should uh, do three days uh, test to be a doctor and uh, when I was there at the university waiting for her uh, we had a friend of her that we could sleep in her apartment and uh, and uh, when I wait for for her to to done the the tests, I was in a library in Duke University, and I I come to study this with the multi personality. As so I I was in in love with uh, Joe that I have talked about. In, uh, in Florida that had this multi-personality and uh, I wanted to see if I could come back to him and help him and uh, this multi-personality people I studied and uh, the solution for these people and that uh, what I I was into later on uh, in Sweden that uh, it says that uh, hypnosis uh, should could solve their problems, and in that way that that they uh, were going back to that time when they started to get these multi-personalities uh, and it was uh, most of the time it doesn't need to be uh, this is so uh, that uh, you know it's not a gender on that it can be the personality can be uh, a woman can have a man in in her that be a male personality, so it have no not a gender of it. It's what where it needed to be. If it needed to be a woman, it's be a, a woman. If it needed to be a man, it's be a man, and um, and they have to go back, and I use this knowledge. When I talk to people that have problems in their life when they want to make a suicide, for example, it's or you, it's kind of depression that you think it must come from something, and that's the same thing that you going back to that time when you start to feel mental sick that your brain start to act strange for you and you you have to go back i know that i have been in churches where the pastor is always talking about to not go back to the past but sometimes in some cases, we need to come back to to the past to to uh, to catch it, to bring up it and heal what's what's have bothered you in your, your whole life, and uh, and you go back to that time and pick it up and uh, in. People that feel 
depressed and low mentally they have to go back and think I have been in this uh, when uh, after 16 years with my daughter's father and he kind of abused me mentally abused me and uh, and I didn't know who I was because I have lived his life. Everything he wanted wanted to do, I did it for him. And I forget myself in this. And uh, when I'm standing there by myself, he was gone. And I, I start to have to live my own life without him and not live his life. And I was wondering, what? It's a spirit here that is on me now. It's something. It will come. Something, I think, uh, going to... They're going to say something. Uh, but uh, when I was there by myself, I was thinking, what did I do before that time, before I met him? For What did I do for 16 years ago? What made me happy? What? What can I do to do the same things I did did before him that I thought it was fun to do and interesting on the stakes. So I, I went back and started to... It was like an aha experience. I didn't remember, and then suddenly I start to remember. Oh, that I did, that he said that uh, I couldn't do, and uh, it was not time for that, or we didn't have any money. It's a, it's a lame excuse uh, that he put up on me. We had lots of money, but he said that. Uh, to hold me back and uh, and that's what it was with the, the multi personality because there was always there is always a, a, a child that had been abused and uh, you have to be friend with that girl you have to go back and be your own friend. You need to go back and and have love for yourself. That that little girl couldn't be divided in into two persons. She had to go back to be a fully her. And. Uh, I have a talk about that, that my mother had this. It's uh, called Minchhausen syndrome. That is about the same thing that uh, to hurt, hurt herself, but not on herself, but hurt another person, often a child. And my mother... She took me to the doctor all the time when I was a child. And uh, in that time when I was a child, those uh, doctors was not nice because Sigmund, Sigmund Freud, he said that, that the children couldn't feel anything. So... Uh, there was big needles, very big needles for a little child, and they say they they ne- never say anything what they should do on me, 
and I was crying, of course, and scared, and uh, that be uh, like uh, my mother saw herself in me, so I have to take all her hurts as a child, and uh, and I took it as a child, and. Uh, Everything and she couldn't defend me because I had to do the same thing that my mother had been done. And uh, she told me once, and I, I think it happened because uh, she said that uh, many times that she was very scared as a girl one time. When uh, her father was sitting and drinking coffee with with a friend, and they had uh, the same girls in the same age, uh, those men, and uh, my mother's father say that should we change the children? You take my daughter, and uh, I take your daughter. And I think it was uh, sexual abuse my mother wanted to talk about, but she couldn't tell me the, the real truth. Uh, so she, when she was talking, she often talked in, in the third person to, to not uh, be involved herself. And... Uh, as she started to write a book about her childhood. Uh, but my adopted sister, she stole that, those paper, so I never come to know what had happened in my mother's childhood. But there is some something she was saying to me that about her childhood she was talking about uh, about sexual freedom between her mother and her father that was not in that time so so that uh, it was hard to to protect me as I was her as a child, as she, she saw me like that. And uh, so th that uh, I was thinking about that. I forget very fast and I have very hard with the doctors, for example, because uh, I forget uh, appointment because it's so hard to go to the doctor as I have experienced as a child and uh, but today I, I I have computer so I'll write it up the appointment so I it's work today to to remember time the appointment time but when I go to the doctor I have very hard to explain for them what my problems are so it's very often I am back home and then why didn't I say this to the doctor like that and and that uh, was why I wanted to talk about today because it was this uh, when I wrote a on Facebook today, I remember that it's very strange, this uh, spirit things, because uh, I, I was very sick in my body when I come back from United States, as I had not got uh, real food to eat in three and a half years. And so I was laying in a, in a hospital because I, I was 
uh, so bad condition in my body and uh, and then I, I they saw me as sick uh, in my body and uh, they was thinking I I c- maybe not could work anymore and uh, and they try a little with uh, some test on me and uh, the strange thing was that uh, the last uh, work trial I had was to to uh, get, uh, I get papers from the church books and uh, I should uh, read this old text and then I should place it on on the inside the database on the computer digital so people could easily read what uh, the records of people uh, and I I get uh, books that uh, where children was born uh, born and death it was not marriage. It was born and death. And uh, then uh, I didn't know it in that time that I, I sit and read my ancestors. Those a paper about my ancestors. Because I didn't know I, I had most of my ancestors in this area I didn't know at all because I, I I was born on the east coast and here where I live is the west coast uh, so it's far away from where I was born so I never ever I, had, I was thinking I had any relatives here in the city and and then I got to could live in this city, and uh, I have started to get much love for this city because it's so many ancestors that have lived here, and many streets here. It's a big city. It's uh, uh, about hundred twenty thousand people that live here. And uh, some some streets are have that name of my ancestors, because they have done big things here in the city. Uh, they were nobles and and royals, and they have done much here. One king, uh, uh, for in my generation, he died here in this city. Uh, I'd be surprised when I saw it, and uh, and uh, you know, yesterday I was talking about my DNA, and uh, I see that you are not so interested of uh, this with DNA, uh, or if it's you are not interested of royals, many of you, so I don't, I don't have any any con- contact with you you d- never write me so I don't know what you want me to talk about so I only talk on my own and what I see on the statistic how many there is that download an episode and my DNA talking yesterday it have not been downloaded uh, and uh, not so much listener on it but it it always uh, coming people that have not seen my podcast and, and start to listen so all these episodes that some of them oh no one like to listen at that episode and then suddenly suddenly people start to listen 
and survey is it maybe the best most people have listened to that episode that is the lowest first in the beginning so I never know and there is different people we are not the same people we have different interests and um, an experience in life and uh, some want to know about how to pray and some uh, want to know how to come closer to God but that you do when you you listen at my podcast that you you get more and more knowledge without maybe you know it but you the brain take it in and suddenly one day it say oh ah that that I know she was talking about and then you have learned and um and that that it was this with the, those church books, old church books, from this area, and um, and I, I I think I maybe have talked about it before, but I believe there it have been a messenger from God in all generation I believe that God have given us messengers from him in all generation he have covered it it make no sense that God only gave us Jesus to talk about his kingdom Jesus is not talking about himself He's talking about God's kingdom. And uh, it must have been people talking about God's kingdom that have have heard from God uh, the same as Jesus. But I know it. I know it uh, because I don't have any any follower in the old way to do things I have started to I have tried to open up a a church I have spent much money to open up church but there there is no people coming to my church and uh, I have a a channel on YouTube and uh, very very seldom is it someone that watch my videos so the, it's not much for me anymore to do those videos because no one is there to watch it and I have tried to make it searchable um, but uh, it's no interest. So uh, this is a pod- uh, my podcast is the best to reach out to people. So I am thinking that those that he have heard from God and try to talk about God's kingdom to people have not coming forward. It had been so so in all generation, and it, it was the same for Jesus. It's a, it he didn't get all the people all over the world. It's it's not many that is uh, like a Christian or thinking about Jesus it if he have really success it have been one all over the world uh, what Jesus had talking about for 2000 years ago uh, so it have been all the time 
through generations that people are stubborn and there is a very it's sad to say but it's a very effectful devil we have he is very smart and uh, uh, I don't want to give him victory but he is a really hard 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 enemy to to catch and and make because people want to listen to him it's not the not the devil that is have success it's that people want to to live like him and listen to him it's uh, it's all about what we people do it's not about god it's not about the devil it's about what what we here on this planet what we are listen to and what we think and what we act on that's where it is and god have from the start god uh, started to go and talk to people uh, himself and uh, people faint and they they also fall down dead and be shocked over that someone is talking to them from there and so God saw it didn't work so he he started as the first person for God to talk about him and his kingdom it was to make it uh, to Jesus to talk to Jesus because that was a person people could see and when they saw a person that looked the same as them because Jesus was looked like everyone else in that time uh, the Bible is talking about that he could hide from the military in the crowd. So he he looked the same as everyone else. And, uh, and, uh, and people, God was thinking of that people should more listen to a person that talk about God and God's kingdom. So he... He did that and uh, he talked about Jesus as his first. And uh, when he's talking about number, that means it's more than he is uh, number one. But then it must come number two, number three, and number four of messengers. So... I believe that very strongly, 100%, that we have had a messenger uh, in all generations. But many of them have been killed, have been put in prison, have been told, have been mental sick, and all kind of trap from the devil to for people to not listen at them so it have never come through uh, of messengers so it's not on on god and not on the devil is about us what we are doing what if we denied what we hear and see and, uh, and if we be scared and doesn't want to take in and deny it and go into denial and uh, it doesn't work well so the end must be that that this planet 
either will it be taken by force from heaven or else it be a void again as it was from the beginning we go back to the beginning <laughs> so that but it's all about what we do here on earth and uh, uh, as uh, we have heard the the spirits are talking about how they pressure on people make press on people to to return to god to to understand they have to rely on something they they can't see and uh, but they can hear but they can't see or they can't touch it they have to submit to the fact that that uh, it's so much we don't understand and we have to accept it we uh, we have no choice than to accept it and that's I have heard sometimes a preacher have told talk about how they have been very close to die like uh, like for me I was on my way to do a suicide I was only maybe one two hours from have been killed and killed myself and uh, this uh, preacher talking about sometimes they that ha have been shot and they have a, a bullet in them and uh, they were on their way to to die and uh, then it's coming angels to their side and then it's coming people to help them and they turn around from been criminal people going there with shooting and and thieves and all things and they re, they turn around and uh, and uh, start to talk about uh, god but uh, they go back to what they have learned from the childhood They go, go back and, and talk about Jesus as God. And that doesn't work. Uh, there those the preacher I have heard uh, about how they get an um, extra chance, a second chance in life. And they start to be a lover of money and uh, uh, they they start to talking wrong and not wanted to to be come close to God to to learn how, who is God and they pick up what they have brainwashed from from the childhood to believe that Jesus is God and that uh, was the Catholic Church that they invented Jesus to be God it's man, man made to uh, Jesus to be a God and uh, to be God and uh, this uh, Trinity things because there is only one God and and he's the, he's a supreme. He have no one that he he uh, is uh, working together with on the same same stage. He is supreme. He is by himself, but he's sending out to he to people under him to do things. That's what it is. He, what God is and uh, and uh, every 
it's a hierarchy in heaven. It's not a, a plan. A lots of men and in that group of thousand people there is God in that a group or or sitting together with two other men and and uh, like they are uh, thinking and saying and order the same thing and sometimes Jesus decide what to do and he said no 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 God no God you you can't talk here because I know more about the earth so I want to tell you it doesn't work that way that it's it must be one that have that everything in him. That know the past and they know the future for us. And uh, that all those that is in heaven, they know it. It's not three, uh, three men that know it. And you know I am talking about the Holy Spirit is a female, is a mother. So she is there, she is the closest to God. And, and then everyone else is coming that get the Holy Spirit inside them. That work in the Holy Spirit. Not only receive, they work in the Holy Spirit. They work in the spirit. They not sit there and f feel like I am king here. This is my domain. This church, these people is my domain. No, no, no. It's not uh, uh, those that God have. And uh, he have different workers in heaven. It's a... Uh, it seems like it's time for the spirit to go through. It seems like it's an angel there. So maybe she wants to talk about what's, uh, what I have started here now. So it's a, it's a little fun because she looked like a like a fairy tale that you have in those saga uh, books. She looked like almost like that with a have some sort of stick in her hand, like she would do magic. <laughs> I don't know why she's showing me this, this spirit, because I, she have not a body. But she want to tell me something with that. It's she she's saying this sex. It's not me. She's saying this. It's like it's like a fairy tale. As a, as a, you say that, it's a fairy tale. It's like a fairy tale. People want to believe in fairy tales she say it's a it's so smart done to to kill people to make people believe in something that if they really are thinking about things that they hear and what they read that they uh, if they really go deep into it and they will understand it's a fairy tale made of man some of it is 
is true, but many things are not true. Um, we have a master, she said. That I heard very clearly, she said. We have one master, she said. One, one. She said not, say not many. She said not plural. And she say singular. And uh, it's like uh, she take away this uh, fairy tale picture now. And uh, I don't know what it is, but we will see. She showed me a forest. And uh, it's a path there in the forest. And it's very green and uh, very high trees on the side of the path. And uh, she say uh, those trees is the covering of when you're walking on the this path those trees make it impossible for you to to go in into the forest uh, because she's showing it's it's very much uh, not only trees but it's also bushes on on the ground so it's so thick so it doesn't work to to go in there, it should be very stupid to go in there. <laughs> she, she, she's, she's, she's talking inside me. Mm. And uh, I will see, I walk, now I'm walking on this path in the forest, we we'll see if there is an opening from this path, it's be lighter now, uh, but now is it like the trees is over my head also and going together. So it's be like a cave, but it's green, very green, light green now. And uh, now she take me into the cave now. See, I'm walking in there. And it's, it's dark, but it's, it's a little light in the front of the, the cave. So I see if I go in there. Now it's, it's only gray in front of me, but like a, a misty cloud, the gray clouds. And uh, I think it's going to be something behind those clouds that I will see. Now it's very, very, very light. It's like a, a, a sun is, is in the opening. It's a, I can't go forward there because there is like a cliff there. And I standing and look ar around there. Uh, in front of me, what's uh, what's there, and and the cliff where I'm standing on is get uh, sunshine on it. It's very much sunshine now. Uh, in the whole valley, is full of sunshine. The valley is not dark. The valley is sunshine, and uh, I need uh, to hear you talking also about it, to explain for me more. 
She is saying that this, this light can be good things, but the light can also be destroying lightning. She is saying. And now I see houses. But uh, but I am over over the houses because I'm in the spirit and look down on houses and uh, I am going to ask her in the spirit what those house means what it is I see what you see. She is saying, what you see is, is that house that is built on a rock. That is, a, in that house there is people that is protected. Yeah. They have known, they have known uh, to be prepared and in their way of coming closer to God they have built up a defend uh, it's a it looks like um, an ordinary house traditional we have in Sweden uh, of wood and it have no protection built uh, protection it have no built protection it's the protection is coming from the inside of the house that she showed me she said um, and uh, she let me look inside that house and there is people sit in peace and uh, don't let anything disturb them that uh, they have the protection inside their house now they don't have any guns, they don't have any weapon. The weapon they have is to be close to God. That's the weapon. To, uh, because God doesn't let anything happen to those that seek him. That what she wanted to to, to show me and uh, and tell you about this that the protection is not from the outside. You you can't build protection. No one can take build a protection of hands. The only real protection is to come closer to God. That's the message of today. I thank you. Thank you. And these angels to come and the spirit to come, to come and tell us that it doesn't matter how much we built with hands. Because uh, the only real protection is to be a child of God that was the message of today so I ended here and I hope you understand what was talking about to to hold into 
whatever the world wants you to believe in, that you hold into your rock. Hold, hold it. And encourage you to, to go and uh, touch your rock and say, that This is my foundation. This is my foundation. That God is my foundation and God's kingdom is my foundation. So thank you for listening and God bless you.